I see in my taxi every day people from all walks of life who all have one thing in common, and that is the fact that they are living their life in the way they feel as if they should, rather than I believe that they're living their life in how they really want to. So many people are burdened by finances. They don't have the money, they don't have the money, the opportunity, because they're constantly having to work so much. And because the way the economic system is, is based, you know, the people, they don't have the time to think about things, I don't think. Um, to think about what they really are, what they really want. Is there an alternative to the system that we're living in? You know, most people have never even considered that there might be an alternative to the system that we're living in. Did anyone know who Jack Fresco was two years ago in London? Um, I would say the number of people who knew Jack Fresco was two years ago would be much less than it is today. So why do you think people are getting interested in the resource-based economy now? Because with the bank bailouts, I think that people are starting to actually question what money is. And if all of a sudden you can create, you know, however many hundreds of billions they just created to give to, to the banks so that they didn't go out of business, um, I think people are starting to wake up to, to, to what is actually going on. People have become more interested in finding out about alternative ways of living and alternative ways of, of shaping society than the one we currently have, which is a monetary system all over the world. Do you think we have the power to change? Without a doubt. What we don't have is the power to think we have the power to change. <laughs>